I give you what the Lord says. Amen. How about that right there? <laughs> amen. We thank God. Amen. Giving honor to God, first of all. Amen. Who yes. is first in my life? And amen. giving honor to my wife and my mother, to the pastors that are in the house today. Amen. Thank God for Pastor Yarborough and Pastor Boyd being in the house. Thank God for Elder Calvin. Yes, amen. And his lovely right. new bride right. being in the house. All right, all right, being, all right. Being in their rightful place, yes. amen. amen. I'm going to just go ahead and call it out, call it amen. Out. Call it out, Pastor. Being where they belong call and where they out. need to be, amen. 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 So God can do great things and have wonderful exploits in their life, amen. amen. See, I ain't ashamed to call out what I want God to move on, amen. 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 Hallelujah, it's time, amen. amen. Giving honor to my brother in Christ, amen. Minister Boyd, amen. 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 Who is a faithful servant, amen, yes, in the things of God, amen. amen. We bless God just for who he is today, amen. amen. See, I don't know about y'all today, but we always want to well, want to talk about the blessings of God and we want to know how God is going to operate in our lives and we want to know what God is going to do next amen. amen and when we want to do those things we don't understand that there has to be priority amen yes, sir. Yes, sir. but we don't want to understand priority because a lot of the time priority takes our priority out of line Right. Amen. But before I go any further, come on and stand with me. Amen. Amen. As we make our decree before God. Amen. Amen. I don't know if y'all understand how much power is in this. Amen. In this proclamation that, that we put forth. It just lets God know that we believe you, God. Amen. Amen. Come on with me. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I believe what my Bible says. I believe what my Bible says. I believe I can have all my Bible says I can have. I believe I can have all my Bible says I can have. I believe I can do all my Bible says I can do. I believe I can do all my Bible says I can do. I am more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ. That strength is me. With God, With God, all things are possible. All things are possible. Because, of God, because of God, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Therefore, therefore, I am, I am the, blessed the blessed child of God. And therefore, therefore I, shall I shall never, never ever, ever be, broke be broke or broken, or broken another, day another day in my life. Because, because God, God loves God the prosperity, prosperity of his servants and my best life. Is yet ahead of me. Somebody give God a thunderous praise in there. If you believe it, give him a shout today. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord today. Amen. Y'all sound like y'all believe that thing now. Amen. Y'all sound like that thing getting down in your spirit, man. Amen. How many of you understand if it don't get down in your spirit, it can't go nowhere else? All right. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord today. Amen. Amen. I bless him for being as good as he is. Amen. I bless him because he loved me in spite of my sinful self. Amen. He loves me in spite of my corruptness. He loved me in spite of my, my disobedience. He loved me in spite of who I thought I was. Amen. See, because some of us at one point thought we was exalted over God. Oh, come on now. But some of us thought we could, we, we could scheme and we could get away with anything. We thought that it was going to be my way or no way. We thought that the world revolved around us. Amen. But then God came in and saved you for real. Amen. And you begin to understand that your life as you knew it meant nothing. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, it's time to give God the glory. Amen. See, that's the reason the devil don't want us to really walk in the blessings of God. That's why he has us so all set with our priorities amen. amen see i want you to know that having priorities the word of god tells us that god is a god of order that's right that god loves decency and order right. so i'm here to tell you this morning it's time to get your priorities in order amen, amen. look to your neighbor say neighbor, neighbor. 
Set your priorities. Set your priorities. Now I got you. To, I want you to understand that when you begin to set your priorities, you begin to set yourself down. Somebody say it's time for me to sit down. Ah, y'all sound like y'all understand what I'm talking about already. See, because when you sit yourself down, you begin to get out the way and you let God stand in your way. You begin to put God first and you put yourself second. Oh, come on now. Oh, my God. But see, I came to tell y'all just how to be blessed today. I did come to give you a word of blessing today. Amen. I came to tell you that there's even an order in your blessing. Now, I need you to turn, if you real, real quick, to Haggai chapter 2. Turn, if you will, to Haggai chapter 2. Amen. I'm going to let y'all catch up. Because I'm already fired up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm tired of the devil wrecking havoc. I'm tired of him trying to ruin our lives. I'm tired of him trying to trick us. How many of you are tired of the devil trying to trick you? Amen. 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 Trying to tell you what you can and can't be, what you will and won't be, what you can and can't have, telling you how uh, uh, you got to live your life. How many of you know you were supposed to be living prosperous? That's right. How many of you understand that you were supposed to be living in authority? How many of you understand that you got power to do just what the Lord has already ordained for you to do? Don't you know that God spoke prosperity in your life before the very foundations of the world? Before he knew you, he said you was blessed. Yes. God didn't make nothing that wasn't blessed. Amen. It's just what you choose to live as. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all didn't get that. Amen. Y'all didn't get that. Amen. See, a lot of us don't understand. We got we don't have to live beneath our means. We don't have to live a subpar life of what the adversary says we are. Yes. See, a lot of us have, have allowed sin to wreak havoc in our lives for so long that we, we go through some certain things, but all that is is the repercussions of what you've done. Mm -hmm. yeah, but when you come out of the repercussions of what you've done and you begin to get back in order, that means I'm beginning to set my priorities in you. order. I oh, man. Like when I begin to set my priorities in order, that begins to tell God that, God, I see you before I see anything else. That's right. Oh, come on now. Are y'all with me this morning? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. So true. Before I go, let me pray. Father God, I pray you use me today in a miraculous way, Lord God. Father, I stand behind you this morning, God. I need you to perceive me, God. So, Father, as I stand behind you, I resist the devil and all that he is, and I exalt you because you are Lord. God, I pray right now that you give us a thunderous word today, Father, that will change our minds, that will change our hearts, that will, God, affect our lives like we've never been affected before. Do that new thing, Lord God, that we are calling you to right now, God. Father, you said, God, if we ask, that it will be done. Father, right now, I'm asking, Father, that you do a new thing, a great thing, and you show us the way, God. In Jesus' name, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart will be acceptable in, my, in your sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Can we give God one praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Chapter 2, starting at the 19th verse, he says, Is the seed yet in the barn? Yea, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree has not brought forth from this day will I bless you. And again, the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the in the four and twenty day of the month, saying, Speak to Zeb Zebulun, Zerubbabel, governor of Judea, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. Oh my God, do y'all hear what God yeah. is saying to you? He said he will shake the heavens and the earth for you because he loves you just that much. Amen. 
but you got to do something. And 22 says, and I will overthrow the thrones of the kingdom. Oh, come on now. He's talking about the kingdom of the adversary. He's talking about that kingdom that you thought was your kingdom at one time. He's talking about that kingdom that held you bondage for so long. That one that every, every one of us has walked in Babylon a time or two. Amen. Uh, all of us at one point has walked in some type of slavery. Yes, sir. But he says, I will overthrow the thrones of the kingdom and I will destroy the strengths of the kingdom of the heathen mm -hmm. and I will overthrow the chariots and those things that ride in them and the horses and their riders shall come down everyone by the sword of his brother mm -hmm. oh my God Jesus. just when they thought they had a friend mm -hmm. he says and in the day saith the Lord of hosts I will take thee O Z Zerubbabel my servant, the son of the shield tile, mm -hmm. saith the Lord, and will make thee as the signet, for I have chosen thee, Hallelujah. saith Hallelujah. the Lord Hallelujah. of hosts. Yes. I need you to turn to your neighbor one more time and tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. set your priorities. Set your priorities. Now, see, in this, when we get into Haggai, we begin to talk about the children of Israel coming out of captivity yet one more time. Amen. We know that they were in bondage once again. Amen. But see, this is a time when they were taken out of the land of milk and honey and brought right back to it. Amen. Now, see, the thing that I love about this uh, 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 testimony of the Old Testament is that when he brought them back from their exile, how many of you know that you've been exiled in your life a time or two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, because when you were in exile, that means you were taken away from the place that you were genuinely purposed for. That was the place of your, your, your governing. That was the place of your prosperity. See, some of us had parents and grandparents that prayed over our lives, that spoke blessings over our lives, but we let the world get in and exiled us from the promise of God. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Some of us begin to walk in things that God never meant us to walk in. Yeah. Some of us begin to walk in things that, that wasn't purpose for us to walk in. So we were exiled. We couldn't get to the things of God. Amen. Us and our exiles only meant one thing. We begin to walk in our own will. Yeah, that's right. Now see, as they were exiles, we begin to see the struggling band of the former exiles who had returned from their homeland after decades of captivity. Well, it seemed to the encounter to be a disappointment after disappointment. Mm -hmm. Life was supposed to be better. Amen. What? Yeah, you ever looked at yourself and say, wait a minute, my life's supposed to be more than this. Yeah. Amen. I know I was meant for better than this. Yeah, Sometimes you look in the mirror and you see that man in the mirror and you be like, wait a minute. This ain't who I was purposed to be. I know I'm better than this. Amen. Amen. And where we have, where, where, where did we go wrong? Mm -hmm. Where did they go wrong? See, I want you to know that these people, these exiles, were the children of God. They went wrong because they began to turn their backs on God. Mm -hmm. yeah. They went wrong when God brought them into the land. It's the first thing they were supposed to do. And I, I got to give you a little history because they've been returned back to Judea and the temple of God had been destroyed. Mm -hmm. The temple of God had been wrought down. The very temple that he had given Solomon the authority to build. Now, I want you to know this temple was, wasn't one, just any temple. This was the greatest temple that was ever built. This was the one that was commissioned by God. And I want you to know that if it's commissioned by God, nothing is greater. That's right. Some of you have had some stuff in your lives commissioned by God, and the devil has told you a lie to make you think that it's not meant for you. Come on, some of you were supposed to be prosperous in your life. Some of you were supposed to be prosperous in your house. But because the devil has lied to you, Come you on. don't see your prosperity. Mm. Yes. All you see is exile. Jesus, Jesus. But see now, as they begin to come back, God brings them back because he said, listen, I'm going to cause you to return from the far places that I've sent you to. From that far, come on now. You ever felt like you was far away from everybody? Right. Far away from your family? You know what I'm saying? Because of your addictions or because of that person you was with that God didn't mean for you to be with and your family didn't want you with them? 
you was exiled. Never even come back to church. You scared to go back to church because they didn't heard about all the mess you done done. Y'all better run back. That's right. Come on now. But see, the people of Israel at this point, the children of God, had come back. God brought them back into the place where they could begin to build the very things of God. How many, somebody say, I'm ready to take care of God's business. I'm ready to take care of God's business. God brought them back to take care of his business. Amen. See, because I don't know if you understand this or not, but before they could go on with their business, the greatest thing of their business was that one, God brought them out of exile. That's right. Unless God's presence is there, you're going to stay in exile. Oh, yes, you're going to stay a misfit. Yes, you're going to stay that whore that they said you was. You're going to stay that drug addict. You're going to stay that drunk. You're going to stay broke, busted, and disgusted yeah. because you're not putting your priorities you, in order. Yeah. Now he called them out of exile But see the first thing you got to do Is I need a place To be near you Because remember now This is still a time God just dwelled with them Unlike today where he dwells In us That's right. He dwelt with them So he needed the temple to be erected and see, not only that, by putting things in priority, you begin to tell the devil that I'm taking back my territory. Amen. By putting the house of God back in order, he began to tell all of the, 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 the ones that came against them, all the, the scribes, the Pharisees that were once come against Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We begin to put it in order. Mm -hmm. All the Babylonians, all of those ones that caused them to go into captivity. We putting things back in order. I'm taking back what God promised me. I'm taking back what was officially mine. But see, the thing that we got to begin to understand is that when they went back, they began to build God's house. And then in the process of building God's house, they began to let things obstruct them. Oh, you know, when we get distracted by things. That's right. When we get distracted by those men and women that ain't supposed to be in our lives. That's right. When we get distracted by the alcoholism or the drug addiction. When we get distracted by 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 uh, false prosperity. Yeah. When we get distracted by the things that pull us away from worshiping God. Amen. We get distracted by the devil because he knows that if we keep hammering and building, that we're putting God first. But he wants us to put ourselves first. That's right. What did they do? They began to stop building because uh, uh, the time got a little hard for them. It got a little rough in the way sometimes. You know how it does sometimes, and it's just not always easy being saved. Amen. Come on now. I tell you the truth about it if you're not. That's right, amen. Sometimes I don't want to be saved because I want to go do the old thing. Free. Sometimes I want to go back out there and run like I used to run. That's right. And the devil will make it easier to do. But my priorities are in line. The word says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And then all these other things will begin to be added to you. You know, come on now. You know when things get a little hard when I want to go clubbing tonight, but I got to be in church tomorrow morning. Oh, come on now. That was a time. But that was one of them things that stood in your way. It made it a little hard. Uh, if I go play the lottery or if I go to this poker game and I, and I, I know it's my tired money and I didn't already set it aside, but I just might win. I, I put my order, my priorities in order. And I, I put God second again. But see, the children of Israel ran up to some things because they had some neighboring countries that began to make it a little rough for them. They began to, to go hire people to come against them. They began to bring in people that would hinder them from building the temple. Oh, come on. You know how they come and they, 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 they begin to persuade you. Uh -huh. Oh, girl, come on. You know he ain't going to mind if you go out with me just tonight. You you know they ain't gonna mind if 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 if, if we do this one more time. Come on and smoke this. Just one blunt ain't gonna hurt. Oh y'all ain't here. Come on, right. preach, right. pastor. Oh my God. 
Just that one thing that, that distracts me, that calls me out, makes me build my own house. See, the children of Israel begin to build their houses. And they, they lived in some nice houses because they knew they were supposed to be prosperous. But God said, wait a minute. How is it that y'all living in your sheltered houses? How is it that you've erected these fine houses for yourself with what I provide? But what he provided, and, and, and my house is still in ruins. Preach. Thank you, man. All right. Come on now. I hear you, sir. How is it that the house of God is still in ruins? I hear you, sir. And we live in well. All right. Preach. Mm. Somewhere in our hearts ought to be pricked that I can do better than this. Come on. And, and what I can't think is that don't you know if you keep God first mm. that you're still going to be provided for even better? Because listen, you can't build a palace and then build a shanty right beside it. Amen. All right. <laughs> If my house is going to be beside the house of God, Lord, I know this thing is going to be immaculate. Yes, yes. But can I make it a little more personal? Yes, sir. See, because God wants us to build the temple today. That's right. Today. That's right. How many of you are really building on this temple? How many of you are really putting the word of God inside instead of the things of the world inside? Oh, come on. We can adorn ourselves with a lot of things. But, but how many of you are really adorning it with the Holy Spirit? All right. All right. How many of you are really sitting down, taking time with hammer and nail the word of God? That's right. All right. And you building. Yes. Your spirit man right. To stand up against the wiles And the wicked ways of the world today Don't you know all that's just distractions yes. That's right. It's time for us to put our priorities In order yes. And see I, 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 I begin to look And I begin to see In Matthew Matthew chapter 6 19 to 34 says lay not upon yourselves treasures upon this earth where moths and rust does corrupt and what? where mm -hmm. thieves break through and yeah. steal <laughs> but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moths yes. or rust does corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal but I, I want to stop right there and tell you stop laying up stuff that will fade away preach mm -hmm. And begin to put some stuff in your spiritual man that's going to be there that's waiting for you in heaven. That's yeah, right, right, yeah. Pastor. Oh, see, some of us ain't thinking about oh, yeah, heaven Pastor. right now. <laughs> We're thinking about what's going on before us. It don't matter what trouble you're facing right now. You put God first and watch God bring you out of it. You Amen. suffer right now for God and you will reign with him later. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. Some of us don't understand. You got to be, you got to send some building material up. Amen. To get your mansion in the sky. All right. But if you ain't sending nothing up, what's gonna be waiting for you when you get there? Ain't no paupers in heaven. So don't fool yourself. If you ain't sending nothing up now, well then you ain't got nothing to go to. All right. All right. Ain't no homelessness in heaven. Come on now. My Lord, my Lord. And 22 it says the the light of the body is the eye. And if therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. Amen. In other words, he was saying, get some focus about yourself. Mm -hmm. If you focus on God, then the rest will take care of itself. Oh, come on now. You want to you wanna do well in school? Put your first priority here and watch give God excel you. The new job waiting for you. Put God first. Mm -hmm. Husband, wife waiting for you. Put God first. Keep God first. You want to build a new home? Build the build the house of God. Watch God work. Be faithful over the things of God, and God is gonna be faithful with you. See, if we walk in the will of God, I said that this morning Sunday school. If we walk in the will of God, the will of God will walk in us. That's the problem. We lack the will of God. We don't walk in what God wills for us. We want to walk in what we will for us. Yes. Which tells us one thing. My priorities are not in order. That's right. And it says, no man can serve two masters. For either he will hate one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and man. Amen. That's right. That's right. Come on now. I, I, I can't get high on Tuesday and 
come to Bible study on Say Thursday. that, Pastor. Come on now. I can't go, you know, hang out in the liquor house Saturday night. And, and I, I hope you come to church the next day. But <laughs> guess what? I want to come with a, a clean heart. Come right. on. Yeah. I want to come knowing I ain't got to be convicted. And, I, and let the devil use the tools that he's put before me. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. I can't, I can't go out there and, and buy a new car knowing I ain't paid God's time. Preach. Come on now. Come on. I, I can't go out there and, 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 and think that, that, that God is going to heal my body, but I'm doing everything to corrupt my body. Mm, right. My Lord. My priorities are out of line. Right. And I'm going to tell you now, don't come in for a little while. Stop teeter tottering, people of God. Uh, don't, don't, you know, you get one foot in and you take one foot out. Okay, I come and, and, I, and listen, I want you to understand this. If you don't understand anything else, if you come in and you being blessed right now, you are getting the overflow. It's not your blessing. Yes, yes, come on. Yes. It's God. It's the people of God who have been faithful that the overflow is coming off on you and he ain't going to allow it to go away. But turn in what you're doing and watch him prove himself. Yes, sir. Watch him take back. Because the word says God gives. And God will take away. And he'll never let us go out in this world and dishonor his blessing. That's right. You better put your priorities in yes, order. Sir. Yes, sir. If you are tired and you expecting a better life, it's time for us to get our priorities in line. Amen. You want some family members saved? Stop letting them see you doing little slick stuff. All right. Because the, the sad part is right. that the Say unrighteous that, know exactly how Say to that. judge the righteous. Right. Say that. Hold on. If that's what being saved is all about, well, then I just ain't going to do it. Amen. Because they expect you to be praying. Mm -hmm. They expect you to be saying uh, 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 no when you're supposed to be saying no and yes when you're supposed to be saying yes. They expect you to do the hard thing. Mm -hmm. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My God. And 25 says, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is it not life more than me or the body more than raiment? says, Behold, even the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet they heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Amen. Ain't that sad that even the birds put their say they put they put God first. That's right. That's right. The birds have a proper priority. That's right. Because God takes care of them. Right. See, let me tell you something. Let me ask y'all a question. Do you believe that the word of God is true? Because I heard y'all. So then, the word of God tells me that it is his will that we prosper and be in good health. Now, if you are not prospering, I can only conclude one thing. That there is some disobedience going on somewhere. Mm -hmm. That there are some things that are out of line. Yeah. That there are some things that are not in order. How many of you know that we were meant to be prosperous before you was even born as a child of God? Even if you wasn't born into a, a saved family and you are here in the, child, in the house of God right now, God meant prosperity to reign in your life. Amen. All it takes is God's word, God's will, and God's way. Amen. 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 And 27 says, which, you by, which of you by taking thought can add one cubic unto your statue? And why take ye thought of the remnant? And consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, and they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet, I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was arrayed like one of these. Amen. They built the temple and they stopped in the middle of building it. Halfway finished it. Matter of fact, they let some 12 to 14 years pass before they got back to it. Can you imagine how much prosperity did they let get away? Ask yourself, how much prosperity am I letting get away in my life because of my disobedience? How much prosperity am I letting get away because I don't want to line up with the will of God? Yeah. Oh, come on now. All right. Some of y'all sitting back thinking right now, I thought, I thought Pastor said he was going to give us a blessing sermon. Amen. I am. Amen. I'm telling you Amen. how to get blessed and stay blessed. Amen. I'm telling you how to be over, overwhelmed yeah. with the blessings of God. We can't do this out of God's will. Y'all, 
It don't think that this is a fly by night thing. It's not. But the word says that the way of the transgressor is hard. That's right. And I proclaim and I declare and I decree right now before you all, there are no transgressors in here. Because if you are, it stops today. All right. Preach. It stops today. Because I, I, I declare and I decree prosperity over all of your lives right now. I declare and I decree healing over your lives right now. I declare and I decree God's will, God's purpose in your life. Hallelujah. Somebody say it's time for a change. It's time for a change. And it's all good. And it's all good. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And 29 says, and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. And wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the fields, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Mm. Oh ye of little faith. Mm -hmm. How many of you understand it takes faith to put your priorities in order? That's right. Because faith begets obedience. Yes. Without obedience, you can't have faith. And without faith, there ain't gonna be no obedience. Oh, come on now, because I'm telling you, because I don't want you to fool yourself. Going around here quoting scriptures and ain't living nothing. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. It's time to walk in what you say. That's right. Because you got the power of life and death in your tongue. And stop letting the devil cause you to speak the wrong thing. Amen. Amen. Stop letting the devil come. come, come, come mm. Stop letting him have control in your mind. Yes. Giving you all kinds of suggestions that, well, it's okay. Mm. No. How many of you understand you got the purpose to live right? Mm -hmm. That's right. You don't do that by accident. You don't just trip into it. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. <sighs> but I do choose God like God chose me. Amen. Yeah. You got you 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 it's a choice. That's right. Because he chose you first. Yeah. Now he just wants you to choose him back. That's right. How do I choose him back? By putting him first. Amen. Putting him ahead of my mother. Yeah. Putting them ahead of my wife. Yeah. Putting them ahead of my children. Amen. Putting things in order. Amen. Amen. That's why I love this church like I do. Because it's the order of God. Because this is the place of refuge. Yes. This is where lives come to be changed. This is where Say people that, can get Pastor. close to God. This is where things can be different than it was. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You ain't got to be that same old person no more. Right. I, I hear you. you ain't got to think like you used to think no more. I hear you. you ain't coming here for no reason. And I want you to know God didn't lead you here for no reason. All right. That's all right. And 31 says, and therefore take no thought, saying, what shall I eat or what shall I drink? Or what, what whatsoever shall we be clothed? And after all these things, do the Gentiles seek? He says, for your heavenly father knoweth that you have need of all these things. How many of you know your heavenly father know what you need before you even ask? But how many of you know you, you do have to ask? All you got to do is ask. If I ask, he said, we have not because we ask not. If y'all begin to ask, begin to ask for the stuff that's in God's will. And it ain't going to take long to get to you because it's in God's will. And he said, my word will not return to me void. So that means it's going to go out ha, and it's going to come back in. Answered. Amen. Amen. I declare and I decree right now, y'all are going to begin to see your prayers answered uh -huh. if you walk in righteousness. Amen. Let me get that right right there. You got to walk in obedience. Amen. You got to line up with the will, the way, and the word of God. And watch God answer your prayers. The devil won't be able to hinder him. The prince of Persia won't be able to hinder him. Because God is going to make sure that your prayers are surrounded with angels going and coming. That's right. Amen. I declare it and I decree it Amen. this day. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, God. But this is the part that I love And this is the part that I've been trying to get to right here In 33 it says But seek ye first the kingdom of God And his righteousness yeah. And oh somebody say oh, oh. Somebody say oh. oh Somebody say oh, oh. All, these All these things 
shall be added unto you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is sitting back waiting to add to your life. God has stuff in store waiting for you. Stuff that, listen, I want you to know right now, stuff that you were supposed to be blessed with years ago, but because of your disobedience, you couldn't have. He, he, he still got it back there stored up, waiting to overtake you. He says, I'll cause my blessings to overtake you. That's yes, right. That's right. How many of you know God loves to see us so blessed that it just overwhelms us? Yeah. You ever been so blessed that all you can do is just sit down and yes. go, oh, God, I don't know. I know yeah. I don't deserve it, God, but you're just so good. And I, right. Lord, thank you. Yeah. You have to just sit down thank you, Lord. and praise him anyhow, yeah. knowing, Lord, I ain't even worthy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But you must have pushed the right button this time. Yeah. You pushed the right button. You in the right stance right now because you overwhelmed. Thank you. So overwhelmed, you're crying so hard you can't even hardly catch your breath. Yeah. Because you know what you've been through. Yeah. You know what you've gone through. Yeah. But then here God is with his hands all around you. Thank you, Jesus. You, you can't even mistake it. You know it wasn't nobody but God. Mm -hmm. You know it couldn't have, could nobody, can't nobody do you like Jesus. Yes. Nobody. Can't nobody bless you like the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. You know it wasn't nobody else. You know it wasn't no trick you could pull. You know it wasn't nothing you could have said. You, and you know you didn't have the money to buy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so ain't nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but you. Mm. And he says, take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Yes. Sufficient yes. unto the day is the evil thereof. Yes. See, he wants us to know that I'm here to bless you if you put your priorities in order. If you put me first, you ain't got to worry about nothing. If you put me first, I'll cause Deuteronomy to awaken in your life. Right. You, remember, you remember what Moses told him in Deuteronomy? In Deuteronomy, Moses began to speak to him, boy. Mm -hmm. He began to say, now, if y'all do these things, matter of fact, he says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Y'all been hearing God speak to y'all for a long time. Jesus. Because listen, if, if, if there's been a suggestion that causes you to want to do the right thing, that's God speaking to you. Yeah. If there's something telling you to do right instead of do wrong, that's yeah. God speaking to yeah. you. If there's something pulling you out of your mess, yeah. even when you want to stay in your mess, that's God speaking to yeah. you. Yes. But he says, hearken diligent to the voice of the Lord thy God, and observe and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on the on high above all nations of the earth. Amen. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all don't even understand how many nations are against y'all right now, do you? Mm -hmm. See, you yes. got the nation, one, the different nations of sin. Mm -hmm. Every addiction, everything that keeps you away from, from God, that's a different nation. Mm -hmm. A nation of alcoholism, a nation of drug addiction, a, a, a nation of, of, of sex addiction, a nation of lying, a nation of cheating. They're all nations. But God is going to rise us up above all of those nations that keep us from him. Amen. And when we get rised up above that, then the blessings will begin to flow. He says, all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord. Now wait a minute, because some of y'all don't understand what hearken means. So it means that hold on, I'm going to stop listening to anything else, and I'm going to start listening to whatever God speaks and tells me to do. I'm going to hearken. I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to heed. And when I do that, the blessings can begin to overtake me. Say, blessed shalt thou be in the city. Blessed shalt thou be in the field. Oh, come on. Some of y'all didn't realize how blessed y'all was out there on that job. Some of y'all didn't, didn't know how blessed you was if you was out there looking for a job. God says, you blessed. You blessed. Blessed shalt thou be the fruits of thy body and the fruits of the ground and the fruits of the cattle and the increase of thy kin and the flocks of thy sheep. He said, not only am I going to bless you, but I'm going to bless those around you. Yes. I'm going to bless your children, your children's children. See, that's why we got to cut off generational curses right now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Some of us, all of us have had generational curses mm -hmm. in our lives. But don't you know that when you came to God, 
God said, now that's time for that to end. Amen. This don't have to go no further. Amen. And please don't allow, don't you know a curse gets worse when you done been in the, you done, you done, the word says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And you get that sweet taste of God's goodness in your mouth and then you turn around mm. and you go back out into that mess. Don't you know the curse is going to double up? Yeah. And listen, it ain't going to stop because it's going to continue on from your children to your children's children's children. Dropping down all because of your disobedience. Y'all better start praying over these babies because I do. Amen. Why? Because somebody acting up somewhere. Yeah. Somebody is. And I want God not to let it come upon them. Ain't y'all done had it hard enough in your life? Amen. Ain't you done been through enough? Amen. That you don't want them to go through it? So how easy is it just to live in righteousness? How easy is it just to give up that part of my life that I thought was fun? Come on now. I, I had a good time when I was out there. At least I thought I did. That's right. And I guarantee you ain't not one of y'all up here got higher than me. <laughs> not one. I done did some things I ain't going to tell y'all about. Lord, but Keep I did them. Self, Pastor. Well, let, let me say, that if it will help you, I'll tell you it all. Because my life is an open book. That's right. That's right. I don't care how terrible it is. Amen. I ain't got to lie about it because I'm, I'm forgiven. Amen. 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 And I'm not walking in it anymore. Amen. Right. So Amen. therefore, I don't have a hard time right. confessing. Amen. And I don't care how you talk about it out. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. Say that. You can talk about me now, but you're going to see me later. Thank you, Lord. Right. And what you're going to see is the Spirit of God. And then you got to deal with that. Amen. Hallelujah, God. I'm trying to help you and you want to talk about yes. me. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Go ahead on, Pastor. That's all right. Say it. Because I want y'all to live. Yeah. I want your life to be prosperous. Yeah. I can't have your life prosperous. I'm sitting here hiding the truth. Come on, yeah. That might help you be delivered. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. That's right. Lord, I want us all to walk in deliverance. Amen. Amen. And I don't care how holy you are, I don't care how long you've been saved, there are some things you need to be delivered from. Say it. Some of us say it. Yeah, I'm just stuck in my ways. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I just, you know, I, some of us still on that phone talking about put people and we gossiping and carrying on. So, and listen, don't you know if you ain't spending no God time with God, you wrong. Get it right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 That's right. I'm a child of God, but you ain't got no relationship. People of God, I love y'all too much not to tell y'all the truth. I don't care. We cannot be stuck in our ways. If you stuck in your ways, your priorities are out of order. All right. Amen. Because guess what? God might come at any given moment and say, I need you to do this. But because that ain't the way you like doing it or wanting to do it, <laughs> let me tell you about me. My wife told me, and I said that this morning in Sunday school. Y'all Sunday school lined up with my sermon today, right. right? If y'all hadn't noticed. Yeah, they did. But, but, but it, 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 was, it was so ironic that she tell me, you know, so things just got to be your way or no way at all. That's right. Oh. You knew that coming. I told, I told her specifically that. In my way or no way. You don't like it? Hit the, burn it up. Hit the road, Jack. You ain't got to come back. <laughs> but now. <laughs> God broke me down like a brownie shot. <laughs> Say, shut up and listen to what she's saying. Because what she's saying is right. That's some wisdom. And I'm, I'm going to give you the, 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 the greatest revelation. We was out looking for some buildings yesterday. And, and I'm still thinking rent. And she said, well, why don't we just go ahead and buy one? Come on. Right. Right. Wisdom. I said, I start Monday morning. I said, you right. Because we can take that building and leverage for that building. God will build us and increase us. Because listen, y'all, people ain't going to believe where we came from when we get there. Amen. So I said, look at God. Look at, and in the other time, because of what my idea, I said, girl, stop tripping. We ain't got the money for that. But it ain't my will. It's God's will. So it's God's will. And he will pay. He will pay. He was Hallelujah. Times when she was trying to warn me about some 
stuff. And I'm sitting here like, girl, stop tripping. Why are you tripping? And she said, you don't see what I see. And God said, shut up, boy, and listen. All right. Here all right. And I done saved myself from a world of iniquity because right. I shut up. Come on. Amen. I wanted her to shut up. Mm. Why you tripping? You just jealous. You just ain't nobody. <laughs> she was right. And then God compacted it because then he yeah. said, Go tell her she was right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you make it all jump. Say, okay, God, because you first, Lord. I'm gonna get my priorities in order. Amen. I'm a servant, God. I'm serving you. I'm only doing this because you said no. You do it because that's right. Amen. Amen. And I, and I, and I take honor in that. Amen. Because I know through my obedience, God blesses y'all. Yes, sir. And that's when I start to realize my obedience flows down for y'all. Yes, I don't want it. It's a communal thing. I don't want it to stop, y'all. Listen, we all should be walking in prosperity. I bet you other churches around here looking at us now saying, look how blessed them people are. Mm -hmm. Y'all riding up in these nice cars. Y'all coming here dressed fancy all the time. Come on now. We don't look like we some broke people. That's right. We Amen. look prosperous. That's right. And that's, we don't just look broke. at We are. Yeah. <laughs> we are. Circulating. Hold on. Wait a minute now. Because wait a minute. I see. I don't see no empty chairs because Deacon William they stand out there. And if they wasn't here, the chairs would be full. And then more to come. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. we're already growing. That's right. Yes, we are God. already growing. You gotta grow. You gotta grow. We are we 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 are growing out of this mm -hmm. yeah. and into that. Yeah. But you know what it takes? Obedience. That's right. It takes us getting our priorities right. Yeah. yeah. God says, "To whom much is given, much, much is required." required. Yeah. Listen, we got to go out here and do what some of these other churches ain't doing. We really got to go out here and help some people. All we right. really got to All live right. right. That's right, man. That's right. If we ain't living right, ain't no need us going out and helping nobody. That's right. Amen. So first things first. Amen. That means dedication. Amen. That means showing up to church on time. Amen. Coming to Bible study on time. Amen. That means coming to Sunday school on time. Amen. And it ain't not one of y'all in here that can't learn something from Sunday school. If you have, if you, and if you, if you can't, I need you to start teaching me. Because right. I have not attained yet. All right. I'm still learning. That's I'm still learning. All but if we can't show God, Lord, I'm going to be dedicated to them little things that you, you put forth. Because let me tell you something. Anything that's been institu instituted in this church, yes. I didn't institute it. God did. Yeah. yeah. I'm not controlling nothing. God is. Amen. And don't you know Christ did the same thing? Christ did the exact same thing. Everything that he did, he says, I do it under the authority of the Father. Amen. Everything that I do in this church, I do it under the authority of the Father. Right. I ain't running nothing. That's right. I'm taking orders. That's right. Amen. 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 And therefore, when we do it like that, we can't do nothing but prosper. That's right. It can't do nothing but excel. So now... I want y'all to understand that it takes all of us to get our stuff. Each individual one comes together to make one whole, get things in priority. How many of you love this church like I love this church? Amen. Get it in pri get priorities then, y'all. It's time to set things in priority. Amen. It's time to put yourself out of the way. Listen, you may struggle with some things. Come on, baby, I'm going to struggle with you. That's all right. We're going to get it together. That's Don't right. give up. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's Don't give up in the midst of the struggle. That's right. Because that's the word of God. He said, you're going to struggle in this thing. You're going to yeah. suffer some things. But don't stop suffering. All right. Yeah. Don't throw it to the side. Yeah. Don't cast it off. Amen. Amen. You strike out tomorrow, come on back up to the plate again tomorrow. Amen. You strike out the next day, well, I'll be back. Because if, if you were like me, if you got in a fight, they're going to have to beat me till I win. Oh, they gonna beat me crazy one, and by that time I done learned how you fight. I'll take a whooping to learn you. Lord, you can learn. I sure will. Cause at that point I know exactly what you gonna do, and then I'm gonna bust you up. Oh my God! I'm gonna use your own stuff against you. All right, now I get it. Come I get on, that. Yeah, you get it now. I get it. Ah, it worked, don't it? It does. I get that. 
I get that. Girl, they ain't raised no fools. <laughs> I get that now. I understand that. Amen. Amen. Y'all, this is how we walk in our prosperity. Yes. This is how we walk in the blessings of God. This is how we get our prayers answered. Amen. If you put God first, then the rest will be added. Amen. If you receive this today, give God a praise in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.